good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. So let's have a look what Keepers of Light have for us today. Okay, what do we have? We have Lady Nada. Okay, I'll just move these cards out of the way. Right, so let's have a look at Lady Nada. Okay, so Lady Nada is, is by some people, they think she is a um, reincarnation of Mary Magdalene. And others say that she is a priestess from Atlantis who um, brings in divine love. So let me just read what's at the bottom there. It says, awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. So it says, Lady Nader, heart awakening. If you can see that there, it might be a little bit blurred. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, telling you to awaken your heart, basically. Have divine love, have love for everyone around you. And it's um, love without bounds, without, uh, without any uh, strings attached. Basically, be grateful for what's around you. Look around and, and celebrate life and see all that life that is around you. And that take comfort in divinity is there as well. Everything it has uh, divinity in it. The way the way I look at that, um, whether we call it God or the Big Bang or evolution or creation, whatever we want to call what made everything, it's an energy source. Everything is energy. Every single thing is energy. Okay, so God will be energy, the Big Bang is energy, evolution is energy, everything is energy. So it doesn't matter what name you want to call it. But when that energy created everything, now if you think about it, when you're doing a creative project, whatever it happens to be, whether you're painting a picture, whether you're rewiring a house, whether you're working under the bonnet of a vehicle, whether you're gardening, whatever it is, you're putting your energy into it as well. So when that energy source created the world and everything on it, that that energy went into everything that was created as well. So everything creates divinity. Right. So when you start thinking and, and understanding that everything has that energy source within it, whatever name you want to give that energy source, when you realize that it's in everything, then you start to understand that everything has meaning, everything is important, not just human beings. Okay, so it's like when you have an artist like Rembrandt or Michelangelo, for instance, if you respect the artist, you're going to respect the artist's work. When you've got somebody who collects those paintings and if you say to that person, oh, he's the one that you don't like, they're going to say, yeah, th this one's not so good or I don't particularly like this one. If you say to them, I bet you haven't insured that one, they're going to say, don't be stupid because I've insured it. It's, it's a painting from Rembrandt's Constable or whoever. Of course, I've insured it. I've insured it up to the hilt. It's priceless. Well, the energy source that's created everything, well, everything is priceless. When you respect the artist, you respect the artist's work, whether you want to call it God, or whether you want to call it the Big Bang or evolution or creation, or whatever you want to call it, whatever name you want to give to it, it's an energy source. And if you respect it, you're going to respect the work. Okay, so Lady Nada is bringing that divine love to everything. And when you realize that that creative energy is in everything and you start to appreciate what's around you, it, it's, it's uplifts you so much. So just 
get into that that way of thinking, that way of being, really does uplift you and be grateful for everything that's around. Going to the garden or going to the local park or have a walk down the street. See how many forms of life that you can see. And I'm not just talking about somebody walking their dog down the street or a cat running across the road. Right, look around you, look how many insects there are, look how many birds there are. Take notice of how much life is around you because life is important. It's the most important thing that we have. All right. Okay, and that's what she's bringing there, that understanding, that realisation. Okay, so let me know what you think in the section below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe as well. And everyone take care and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.